Where the hell did that game object go? One extremely frustrating thing about making games in Unity is sometimes we can't see what's going on behind the scenes. For example, if we tried to swing a sword and hit an enemy in a certain area, it would be helpful to have some kind of indicator where our attack point needs to be located, or how big the damage array is. Well, one way to figure out where an object is is by using gizmos. And this is common knowledge with things like C-sharp scripting, but you may not know how to do it using Bolt. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to your player game object, you're gonna right click and then create an empty object. And let's just call this attack point. And uh, then we're gonna go and add a flow machine to that. And you can either choose embedded or macro. Um, I'm gonna reuse this later on. So I'm just gonna make a new macro and I'm gonna call it uh, gizmos. And uh, I'm just gonna delete both of these things. You shouldn't need either one of those things. And right here on the fuzzy finder, I'm gonna do an on draw gizmo selected. And uh, I'm gonna select that. And then I'm going to do uh, gizmos set color. Okay. And I'm gonna change mine to let's say red. And uh, the next thing we're going to need is a uh, gizmos draw wire sphere and you can do a cube you can do whatever you want there but because it's 2d i think a sphere will work perfect for me and from the center i'm just going to do transform get position and that's going to put this uh, gizmo on that game object and right here i'm just going to set my radius at 0.5 and right there you should see that um i have this object i'm just going to I'm gonna relocate this entire game object to right about there. You can change the color to whatever you want. I'm gonna leave mine at red. And that's it. You should now be able to manipulate gizmos to do your will. <laughs> if you haven't done so already, be sure to check out my channel for easy tutorials on Bolt Visual Scripting. Peace.